age when you got your period. You had flexible in relationship. So, tell us your junior high school experience. How did you know? Just kidding. So hello everyone, it's Jillian. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog is a girl talk. Actually, I'm going to give some advice to you all. And this is my first time video that I'm going to film a girl talk. And I'm kind of excited to answer some of your questions. I'm excited to give some advice too. As you guys noticed something that I look so different. Yeah, it's my haircut again. As I promised, never to cut my hair again. But here we are. Just ignore the stain on my jacket. It's crazy. I can even remove this stain on my jacket, so don't mind that. So right now, I'm going to answer your questions, but we have four topics, and first of all is high school, about high school, and second of all is relationship, and about periods, and about confidence, so that's four topics. So I'm gonna give some advice first about high school. Good luck experiencing high school. It's not that scary, but when you turn grade around grade 9 and grade 10 good luck and don't be nervous if you just end up coming grade 7 grade 8 grade 9 or grade 10 because it's not that scary so i don't have an extra bonus i mentioned a lot on my vlogs i'm always using a notebook to write it down on my notebook some of your questions and i'm using my phone i know my hero pogo lang camera so so first of all we're going to talk about high school and the first question is, tell us your junior high school experience around grade 7 to grade 10. I'm gonna tell you guys, grade 7 and grade 8 since it's modular here in the Philippines. It's modular online class and it's kind of hard. I also struggled at that time because I can't even understand what the teachers are saying because of the Wi-Fi and it's getting laggy. But yeah, my grades are fine. And when I turn grade 9, it's in-person school and grade 10 in-person school, which is kind of good. But we have a lot of grade around, I think around grade 10. Because in grade 10, we have a lot of things done. More on what? More on, more on acting siya and more on reporting. I really want to do it. I really want to do it. I want to report, report. And good luck to the other kids who will be turned grade 7 or grade 8, grade 9, grade 10. Good luck. And next is how to be friends with someone because I am nervous to know someone on my new school. Girl, same. But I'm learning you someone on my school, on my new school. All you need to do is uh, communicate. If you're going to ask something sa magiging new class, or it's more go ask something or just communicate like, Hi, what section are you? Lalo na pag sumali ka sa mga activities sa school. What lesson have you learned throughout your entire sophomore year? Um, yeah. About my sophomore year, I just want to show you guys that what I learned in my sophomore year, which is first of all, I learned to be confident, not to be pressured. Well, about that, not to be pressured. What does it mean? Because when I was grade ten, starting of grade ten, I started pressuring myself because I wanna be on that top, like top achiever. But it didn't make it the first time. So, so instead of pressuring myself, I should be. I should be focusing on what I love to do. If talaga mo focus ka lang sa academics, napansin ko rin yun. Kasi if nag-focus ka lang sa academics talaga, mawawalan ka talaga ng gana na makipag-bond. And mawawalan ka ng gana na alagaan sa sarili mo. Kumantong yung time na na-hospital pa ako. Siguro stress lang. And need ko lang talaga kumain ng tama and drink some water, lalo na yun, lagi ako nade-dehydrate. Talagang nakakalimutan ko na nagaan yung sarili ko. So guys, be don't, don't. And mostly harming yourself, which is kind of bad. So kasama na yun dun sa mga natutunan ko noong sophomore year. Yeah, talaga na pressure talaga ako nun. And next is, do you really need to be productive in high school? Because it's so hard to manage some time to be productive. Um, to be honest, it depends on me. I'm trying to be productive always, but not that always. Kasi, kasi hindi naman sa lahat ng time magiging productive ka. Okay. Mayroon time na magiging productive ka pag sinisipag ka. Pero pag hindi ka sinisipag, syempre hindi ka magiging productive. But for now on, sinasanay ko na magiging productive para, para lang ano, para lang magawa ko yung mga dapat kong gawin. 
ay matapos na lahat ng mga dapat kong gawin, ganun. And hindi mo naman talaga matutuloy-tuloy yung pagiging productive. Kasi na-experience ko na yun. Have you ever experienced having a fight with your BFFs? Well, yeah, I already experienced some fight with my BFFs. But not physical. Baka kasi hindi siya physical. Well, it's not physical. I experienced ko na yun ng sophomore year. It's because of the misunderstood. I experienced that a long, long time ago. And next is how to avoid toxic friendships. So, first of all is, mostly when they're backstabbing you, like they're talking behind your back. And napansin mo na yung mga moves nila, like, they're, like para kang ginajudge or whatever. Because true friend never do that. As if like they're talking about behind your back, well, they will, they will spread some fake rumors about you. So, it's best to cut them off. Example, if you're in a group of friends and ikaw to nag-iisa, if they, they were like talking about you and they're just lifting you out, just try to cut them off. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. How? Like, stop talking to them na. Kasi, if you feel uncomfortable and don't be scared to cut them off. Kasi, it's your decision to cut them off. It's not bad to cut someone off. Para sa'yo na rin yan. And you can start in your friendship, which is you can trust one. If talaga marami kang mapagkakatiwalaan, well, it's, well, it's good, but please be careful. Kasi hindi mo sure kung sino mga pinagkakatiwalaan mo. Maybe they will leak it or something. Yung mga secrets mo, they will leak it or what. It's best to keep your secrets, like, from friendships. Just keep your secrets in because they might, they might, because I have trust issues, they might leak it or whatever. So, yeah. Just trust someone who's trusting you too. Like, you both are trusting each other. Then, it's good. Should I open up to my friends? It's okay to open up with your friends if you, as I said earlier, if you trust them. Pero mas okay if nag-open ka sa family mo than your friends. If you have the closest friends ever that you've been trusting for a long, long time, it's okay. But if you if you had this friend, na naging friend mo lang for now, don't go na. I know. I know na mas importante mag, na mag-open up kasi it's for your mental health na din. Yung iba hindi nag-open up actually. Yung mental health kasi nila nagkakaroon sila like, ng depression. Yung mga, yung mga hindi nag-open up actually nagkakaroon sila ng depression. Mostly teenagers and yung ibang mental health disorders nagkakaroon sila ng ganun. Kaya hindi nakakapag-open yung ibang teenagers kasi na-encounter ko lang ha. Like nakikita ko lang. Nakikita ko lang kasi. Napapansin ko lang. Um, Natatawa din silang OA or whatever, OA dramatic or whatever. I feel that pain for some soft-hearted people kasi hindi naman tayo halos magkaparehas. And bakit kailangan natin tawagin yung mga soft-hearted people na OA dramatic? Why can't we just help them, some of them, hindi na go open, but it turns out they will harm themselves. Doing that thing or har- harming yourself is not good, please stop that. Wala naman mangyayari if talagang i-harm mo yung sarili mo. You're just destroying yourself. To be honest, then hurting yourself, just open up to someone who you can trust to. And priority is to pray every day. How do you manage stress at school? Do you think guys I can manage my stress at school? No. Just kidding. Okay, I'm just going to draw some drawings like that. Or just rest during break time. Because yun yung ginagawa ko pag every time yung stress ako, marami akong iniisip sa school. Depende kung kakain ako or what. And now we're finished on the high school advices. And next is about relationships. So now we're going to start with any first kiss experience. What do you mean? Stop. Uh, no comment to that. What are your red flags in relationships? So my red flags in relationships is... Example, my boyfriend was ignoring me for like 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever, whatever an hour. But he's active, he's not busy. He doesn't have any time for me, but he's not busy. Well, that's a red flag. And next is, he's backstabbing you. Your own boyfriend, my own boyfriend, backstabbing me. Well, that's a red flag because he's your boyfriend and I am his girlfriend. But niya ako iba backstab. Right? I don't know if meron ganun. I feel ko meron. I don't know. Example, this is my boyfriend and this is his GBF, which is your best friend. And if his GBF being touchy to my boyfriend and he's being touchy with his GBF too, Looks like they're in a relationship, but not me. Well, that's a red flag. That's a toxic thing, effort. As I encountered a lot of that, that tree. Bet you're not single anymore. How did you know? Just feeling. How to avoid fighting in relationship? Okay, guys, fighting in a relationship is normal. Why? Because hindi naman lagi kilig yung mararamdaman niyo. There were yakan, tampuhan. Siyempre, kasama din yung happiness. Normal na naman yung may pag-aaway, except 
away na physical. Girl broke up with him or boy broke up with her. If he's hurting. If he's or she's hurting him. If malit na away lang, we choose to forgive each other and try to communicate like deep talks. Like it's right age to be in a relationship or in first kiss. Actually, there were no right age to be in a relationship, but except your parents knew all about it. Next is, girl, how to know if a guy likes you? If a guy likes you, for me, lagi kang kakausapin yan kahit ilang oras. For me, yeah. And bibigyan kanya ng mga gusto mo. Kahit di mo sinasabi sa kanya, bibigyan sa'yo. Ganun. Or ganito, tinatanong niya yung mga gusto mo. Like, what is your favorite color? What is your hobby? Because, doon nagsisimula ang lahat. That's what I know if a guy likes you. And next is about period topic, which is so much girl talk. Age when you got your period. Um, actually, when I was 14, around 14, because before my birthday, before my 15th birthday, I got my first period, which is when I was 14, and kind of late. What do you think are the normal age to get their period? Um, for me, it's around 13 years old. But for now, kids kids age around 9, 9 years old, or 8 years old. How did you know when you got your first period? Um, when I got my first period, okay, story time. Before when I got my first period, I was like craving a lot, so much food, and kain ako ng kain, basta mabusog ako, or hindi ko lang katapos, and hindi ako nabubusog. And, pura ako tulog nun, which is parang may nagbago, napansin ko nun. And kinabukasan, I was shocked when I peed, and there's a blood on my pee. Ayun na nga yun. so, welcome to womanhood. What's better to wear during bloody days? For me guys, sanitary pad. Because I'm not actually using tampons because I'm not used to it and I'm used to wear some sanitary pads. I didn't even use it for the first time. I'm seeing a lot of posts how, how they put their tampons and no, just no. And the next question which is true, you're afraid to wear tampons. It looks hurt if you put that tampon in and I don't know but I'll try soon. And now we're going to talk about confidence. So. Let's go! Which is the last topic. It's how do you stay confident? I'm not being confident always. I'm always this insecure. Just try to remind yourself that you're pretty and you're worth it. And your body is beautiful. Your anything is beautiful to you. So just, just remind that guys. You are beautiful. And you are perfect. Yes. How to gain confidence in an easy way. For me, I'm trying to be confident by... By... Uh, reading some quotes. I'm reading some quotes. Try to remind yourself that you are perfect no matter what. Just please take it as positive. Just try to watch positivity videos or podcasts. You'll, you will learn a lot something about yourself. How do you stay happy during struggle times? During your struggle times, try to do what you love. Not just focus on your academics or work. So just try to go out with your friends. Just go, go out with yourself. Just date yourself like that. When I want to be happy, I'm going to buy some clothes or going to eat or going to watch some Netflix just to ignore your problems. Try to go outside mostly because when you're going outside, you feel so free and do some self care. And the last question, do you feel insecure all the time? Well, not all the time. There were times that I'm so insecure about myself, about my looks, about my body. But, but yeah, just to remind. Um, take off something positive. If you want to try to be confident, guys, just don't be shy. If you guys think that people will say something bad to you, they will say something inappropriate, they're just jealous of you. Or if they will comment something on your social media, just block them. Just block them. A lot of people, like, they're like talking behind you, behind your back, because of your looks or your body, but it doesn't matter. Why do they care? So I hope you all learned a lot on my advices. So that's all the responses, guys. Thank you for responding if your responses are there. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all like this video. So I will see you all guys on my next vlog.